Hi dears, this is Raji. Each year so many questions you will be getting repeatedly from previous year's board papers. We have already solved few questions from 2016 board paper. So this is the part 2 of the video. So let's continue with the questions. See this question. State your observation when ammonium hydroxide solution is added drop by drop and then in excess to each of the following solutions. Copper sulphate solution and zinc sulphate solution. In the chapter analytical chemistry we were discussing a shortcut to identify the presence of cation as well as the solubility of the precipitate formed in excess of ammonium hydroxide as well as sodium hydroxide solution. You can just go through that. Okay. I will share the link of that video in the description box. See this is a shortcut for ammonium hydroxide. What is this one? Amman saw zebra crossing near school. What do you mean by that? When excess of ammonium hydroxide is added. What will happen? Zinc hydroxide okay as well as copper hydroxide will become soluble school is soluble that's the meaning of this we have discussed in that okay yeah so what will be the observation of the reaction when ammonium hydroxide is added to copper sulfate solution initially you will be getting a pale blue precipitate of copper hydroxide okay if you are adding excess of ammonium hydroxide into this, yeah, the precipitate will be soluble and the solution will be turning into a deep inky blue solution you should write. Correct? No. This is the observation of the reaction. Got it. Next one. Zinc sulphate solution. Initially, if you are adding ammonium hydroxide drop by drop, you will be getting a gelatinous white precipitate of zinc hydroxide. If you are adding excess of ammonium hydroxide, what will happen? This precipitate will be soluble in excess and you will be getting a clear solution. Correct? No? Yeah. This will be the observation of the reaction. Got it? Yes. See this question. Write equation for the reaction taking place at the two electrodes. Mentioning clearly the name of the electrode during the electrolysis of acidified copper sulfate solution with copper electrode we have discussed each and every concept in the chapter electrolysis along with that yeah there is an 18 minutes video in which the entire chapter we were discussing right yeah so you can just go through that it will become so easy for you now write it whenever you are getting this kind of a question draw an electrolytic cell this is the electrolyte and this will be the cathode right and the positive electrode that is known as the anode right which is the electrolyte copper sulfate solution so first of all you write what all ions are present in the solution cu2 plus ion will be there so4 2 minus ion also will be present as it is an aqueous solution h plus ion will be there oh minus ion also will be present yeah so what will be the reaction taking place at the cathode yeah out of H plus and Cu2 plus only one will be getting a chance to get discharge. Yeah, it depends upon the position of the ions in the electrochemical series. So as per the position Cu2 plus ion will be getting a chance. Right. Yeah. So write and see Cu2 plus ion will be moving towards a cathode. It will be accepting two electron and it will be getting deposited as copper metal. Okay. This is the cathode reaction. Whenever you are predicting the product at the anode, think about whether you have taken an inert electrode or active electrode. Inert electrode like platinum, graphite will not participate in the electrolytic reaction. But here we are taking copper electrode. Compared to SO4 2 minus and OH minus ion, copper will be having more tendency to give away electron to the anode. So, what will be the reaction taking place at the anode? Copper will be giving away 2 electron and will be getting converted into Cu2 plus ion and it will come to the solution. Clear? Okay. So, we got the cathode reaction also, anode reaction also in the case of copper sulphate solution. Yeah. What about the next one? Molten lead bromide with inert electrode. Draw an electrolytic cell of molten lead bromide. This is the cathode. 
okay and this is the anode yeah and which is a electrolyte molten lead bromide as it is molten lead bromide the only cation present will be pb2 plus ion and the only anion present will be br minus ion now write the cathode reaction yeah only one ion is there so there is no competition at all it's so easy pb2 plus ion will be moving towards a cathode it will be accepting two electron and will be getting deposited as lead metal and what will be the reaction taking place at the anode br minus ion will be moving towards the anode it will be giving away one electron to the anode and will be converted into bromine atom two bromine atom will be combining together to form bromine vapors so you can see a gray metal deposit at the cathode whereas yeah reddish brown vapors of bromine will be evolved at the anode got it no yes see the next one name the product formed at the anode during the electrolysis of acidified water using platinum electrode in this case also we don't want to buy hard the product of cathode and anode reaction yeah which is a electrolyte acidified water correct yeah as it is water h plus ion will be present oh minus ion will be present as the anion as we are adding few drops of concentrated h2so4 to acidify water yeah from h2so4 h plus ion will be present and few so4 2 minus ion also will be present okay they are not asking the cathode reaction what will be the reaction taking place at the anode in this case we are using an inert electrode like platinum okay so that platinum will not take part in the electrolytic reaction as for the position of the ions in the electrochemical series which one will be getting more chance to get discharge yeah. oh minus ion right yeah and we have already discussed that when oh minus ion is discharging at the anode how many you will be writing for oh minus you will be writing see this one from this you can create two molecules of water and one oxygen so write it how to write the anode reaction 4 oh minus will be giving away 4 electron and will be getting converted into 2 molecules of water and oxygen gas the answer is oxygen gas okay yes now see this one name the metallic ion that should be present in the electrolyte when an article of copper is to be electroplated with silver we have a copper spoon with us we are going to electroplate with silver so as we are plating this copper spoon with silver the silver rod should be kept as the anode and one more important point to be noted is that if you are electroplating this article with silver the electrolyte should be definitely containing yeah, silver ions which is a proper electrolyte that is sodium argentocyanide NaAgCN twice question is that which ion should be present inside the electrolytic solution what's the answer the metallic ion that should be present in the electrolyte will be Ag plus ion or it should be a salt solution of silver got it see this question by drawing an electron dot diagram show the formation of ammonium ion how ammonium ion will be formed ammonia will be reacting with h plus ion and that will result in the formation of nh4 plus ion what will be the structure of ammonia ammonia will be having three bonds around it they have given already the atomic number of nitrogen yeah, so what will be the electronic configuration 2 5 right out of 5 3 are bonded with hydrogen correct yeah whereas that how many are remaining two are remaining and that one we call it as a lone pair understood okay yeah. by this time h plus ion is approaching ammonia molecule it doesn't have any electron to form a bond so these two electron will be donated to h plus ion by ammonia molecule that will result in the formation of a coordinate bond as h plus ion is bringing an extra proton yeah you will have to represent the ammonium ion like this now the question is that how to draw the electron dot structure there is an easy method okay first you will have to draw the structure of ammonium ion with pencil 
then what we need to do show the electron of hydrogen using dot right and show the electron of nitrogen using cross mark the electrons which are present in this coordinate bond was given by the same nitrogen so both the electron you should represent it in the form of a cross and after that you can rub the bond in between see this one the electron dot structure of ammonium ion is ready got it yes see this question write balanced chemical equation for each of the following when excess ammonia is treated with chlorine write and see what will happen ammonia is a strong reducing agent we said okay it is reacting with chlorine then what will happen yeah, reducing agent will be yeah, donating hydrogen forcibly to somebody so definitely one product obtained will be hydrogen chloride and what is remaining another product obtained will be nitrogen first you balance this equation so i am putting a 2 in front of this and a hydrogen is becoming 6 and this will become 3 chlorine we balance this equation but remember you have taken excess ammonia okay as you have taken excess ammonia it will be having a tendency to react with yeah this hcl right and see what will happen excess ammonia will be reacting with the hcl resulting in the formation of ammonium chloride see hcl is present on both sides right so in order to avoid that the entire equation 2 we are going to multiply it by 6 right and see what will happen yes see and now we are going to add these two so what will happen the 6 hcl 6 hcl as it is present on both sides we can cancel it now add and write 8 nh3 plus 3 cl2 will be giving n2 plus 6 ammonium chloride not only you predicted the product of the reaction yeah see but you balanced it also correctly easy no follow this method so that it will never become wrong got it yeah read the next one an equation to illustrate the reducing nature of ammonia it's a commonly asked question yeah so which example you will write you can write the reaction of ammonia with copper oxide how to predict the product of the reaction we said that ammonia is a reducing agent so forcibly it will be giving hydrogen to this one right now copper oxide hydrogen and oxygen will be combining together to form water correct what will be the other product obtained if oxygen is going along with this hydrogen yeah what is remaining over here you will be getting copper then here what will be remaining nitrogen so these are the product of the reaction easy to predict no we don't want to buy heart it right specifically they are telling write the balanced chemical equation so not only you should predict the product of the reaction correctly but you should balance it also correctly got it yes see this question a b c d summarize the property of sulfuric acid depending upon whether it is dilute or concentrated so in the chapter sulfuric acid we were discussing that sulfuric acid in the dilute state also concentrated state also will be exhibiting different properties from this you will have to choose the relevant property for each of the following okay read and find out preparation of hydrogen chloride gas as sulfuric acid has got a very high boiling point it won't decompose easily so due to that it is used for the preparation of other acids which are which are easily volatile got it yeah so which property of sulfuric acid is utilized in the preparation of hydrogen chloride gas non-volatile acid property answer is b now see the second one preparation of copper sulfate from copper oxide you have copper oxide with you from that you will have to prepare copper sulfate solution what is the nature of copper oxide copper oxide is basic in nature so you will have to add an acid okay you don't want a concentrated acid with dilute acid you can prepare copper sulfate and water from this correct no so which property of sulfuric acid is utilized over here it is acting as a normal acid or a dilute acid so it is typical acid property usual normal acid okay answer is a got it yeah. 
Now see this one, action of concentrated sulfuric acid on sulfur. When sulfur is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid, remember definitely one product obtained will be sulfur dioxide, another product obtained will be water. Correct. I am not balancing this equation but remember when sulfuric acid is reacting just look at the product side. If sulfur dioxide and water is produced as a result of the reaction definitely yeah, concentrated sulfuric acid will be showing oxidizing property. Correct. So what is the answer? Oxidizing agent. Okay. Yes. Answer is C. Got it. Now see this question. Name the gas evolved when the following mixtures are heated. Calcium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. They are not asking the balanced chemical equation. But you just write and see so that mistakes will not be happening. Ammonium chloride and calcium hydroxide. You are heating this mixture. So what will be the expected product of the reaction? Yeah, it, Calcium and chlorine will be combining together to form calcium chloride. Ammonium hydroxide will be the expected product but as we are heating it, it will be decomposing to form ammonia and water you can memorize. Got it? Yeah. What's the answer? So which is a gas evolved as a result of the reaction? It will be ammonia gas. Got it? Yeah. See the next one, sodium nitride and ammonium chloride. Which will be the gas evolved if we are heating both these compounds together? That's the question. Right and see ammonium chloride we know that it is NH4Cl sodium nitrite NaNO2 remember yeah nitrite will be NO2 nitrate will be NO3 minus correct no what is the formula of sodium nitrate it will be NaNO3 but they are asking sodium nitrite formula will be NaNO2 so upon heating what will be the product obtained sodium will be combining with chlorine okay so expected product will be sodium chloride and what will be the other product of the reaction you will be getting NH4NO2 but remember ammonium nitride is highly unstable it will be easily undergoing decomposition reaction that time what will be the product of the reaction NH4NO2 upon decomposition you will be getting nitrogen gas and little bit of water also will be formed now got the answer right yes so which is a gas evolved when sodium nitrite and ammonium chloride is heated it will be nitrogen gas got it yes we will be discussing the next part of 2016 paper in the next video you keep on working hard see you in the next video thanks for watching